So Cupra have just announced they're going to start offering a range of petrol and electric models on the Motability scheme. And in this video, we're going to investigate what Motability is, who's eligible, and what models are available on it. Motability then, what is it? Well, it's a scheme for disabled people that's designed to be worry-free. Well, what does that mean? It basically means that uh, your tires, your windscreen, your servicing, insurance, all the maintenance, it's all covered from reputable brands you're probably already familiar with. All you have to do is fill it up or charge it up. The scheme is designed to help those that need it most, so therefore there is a qualifying criteria. To get onto the Motability Scheme, you must be in receipt of one of the following allowances. The higher rate of the Mobility Part of Independence Payment, or PIP as it's also known. Likewise for Disability Living Allowance, or DLA. Armed Forces Independence Payment and War Pensioners Mobility Supplement from Veterans UK. You need to have a minimum of 12 months allowance remaining and that the money you typically would have received will then go straight to Motability in exchange for a new car. And as long as you're receiving your award, you can have a car for up to three years. After that, you then exchange your old car for a new one. So what models are on the scheme? Well, allow me to introduce you to the Cupra range. The first model is this, the Cupra Leon. It's a compact hatchback vehicle available in either hatch or estate form and is comparable to that of the BMW 1 Series, Mercedes A-Class and Audi A3. In fact, it shares a lot of its underpinnings with the Audi, being part of the Volkswagen Group. The only difference being is it comes in a more curvaceous, more design-led style rather than the more straight-laced Audi product. It comes with both manual and automatic gearboxes mated to highly fuel-efficient petrol engines. It can offer up to 620 litres of boot space with the estate model. And there's also a high level of specification with all cars featuring machined alloy wheels, LED lights, dark tinted windows, digital cockpit, adaptive cruise control on a flat bottom sports steering wheel with mounted paddle shifters on auto models, a wireless phone charger to go with the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on the 12 inch infotainment display, which includes satellite navigation, DAB radio, a reversing camera, and that is also coupled with front and rear parking sensors. But what if you need something a little bit taller? Then may I present to you the award winning for Mentor. It won Autocar's Best All-Rounder for 2022 and was What Car's Best Coupe SUV for 22 and 23. It sits a little bit taller and a little bit longer compared to the Leon hatch and offers a slightly bigger boot at 450 litres, but is a little bit shorter compared to the estate. Think of it as comparable between the BMW X2 and the Mercedes GLA. Like the Leon though, it's available with a petrol engine with either automatic or manual gearboxes. But what if you need something a bit more practical? Then maybe the Ateca will be more suited to your needs. It follows the more traditional compact SUV mantra. So think Volvo XC40, Range Rover Evoque, or Audi Q3 in terms of its size and prestige. It's available exclusively with a petrol automatic engine offering at least 150 horsepower. It's more boxier dimensions, give it easier access inside and out. And of course, it offers very similar specification to the two cars I mentioned previously. But what if you want to go electric? Well, we can help with that with this, the Cupra Born. It's a family compact hatch and won what car's best family car of 2022 at their electric car awards. It has this bread van silhouette, which makes a really easy access as well as offer loads of space in its bespoke MEB EV platform. Now, in terms of its size, it's comparable to that of the Leon. And if you're thinking it looks a lot like the VW ID3, then you won't be wrong in that regard because they share a lot of the same underpinnings. In fact, I've actually compared the two cars in a video, which you can watch up here. With the Bourne, we offer every specification, V1, V2, and V3, both 204 and 230 e-boost powertrains, and both 58 kilowatt hour and 77 kilowatt hour battery sizes. This allows for a range of up to 342 miles, depending on the specification chosen, 
and can be charged from 5 to 80% in just 35 minutes on a 120 kilowatt charger. When you take out a full electric car on the Motability Scheme, as part of their worry-free package, you'll get a free home charger courtesy of OMI, and if you don't have the means of charging at home, you'll get a BP Pulse subscription, which gives you access to 9,000 public charge points at a discounted rate, and some are even free. You even get 50% off hot drinks at the Wellbeing Cafe. Now, if everything I've explained sounds like I'm talking to you in a foreign language, then you might want to check out my series of videos here on how to buy an electric car 101, where I explain all the different words and acronyms, what they mean, and how it might affect you. So that, my friends, is Cupra on Motability. If you want to find out more information about the Motability Scheme and the rest of the Cupra range, then check out our website, smccupra.co.uk. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram, at Cupra Woking. We're also on LinkedIn, TikTok, and X, at SMC Motor Group. And of course, if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, click subscribe, and click the bell icon so you always get notified whenever we load up new Cupra content. Otherwise, till then, I'm Max, this is SMC Motor Group, and I'll see you on the next one.